to talk a lot about that tonight because sonar is nothing more than an electronic ruler. An electronic ruler. Never think about it like that. It is not a fish pound. These are fish pounds. If they don't find them, they die. So they do a good job. If they do it. Actually, this is a really good one. These are just other smaller models of fish pounds. And it's not a death pound. I made this for Gerald Swindle. It's a classic. <laughs> this is a ranch model, LGR-1. That's uh, let go of the rope, is what they said. <laughs> and as instructions say point down towards H2O. So when you do that, you do this. Now this is a deluxe model because it has a knot in every foot and a ribbon with five written on it at five feet. This is a death pile. Sonar is an electronic ruler. What does it do? It measures how long it takes that to go over there and hit that, that, or that, and come back here. That's all it does. This machine cannot draw you a picture. And the screen is not moving to the left. <coughs> I'm looking for that deer in the headlights look that I'm beginning to see here. <laughs> Because this guy that just said that must be from Uranus, because that is a picture. And it is going to the left, isn't it? No, it's not. Perception, reality. We're going to talk about that for a minute. That's what the bottom of the lake looks like, and them little wing looking deals up there. Are those fish? <coughs> well, maybe. But I like to put it on that one that's got cartoons on it. And all the little fish swim left. <laughs> no, we got three guys that swim out there a little bit. They all swim left. <coughs> How does that know a fish from a wall? No. You spend fifty thousand dollars on your boat, and you put an AM radio on it. No. You wouldn't put an AM radio in your Mercedes, would you? Yep. Are you big spur? When you buy a sonar, you want to buy one that has a beautiful picture. Well, if you were in the TV department of Sears, you want that big old 60 inch one, or you want this little 16 inch black and white? Or you want the great big one, right? Well, it's still Channel 5, it's the same information. Same thing about sonar. That one's not any better than a little one for what it does and how it works. <coughs> Gentlemen, sound does not go out in a car. Many of you thought sound went out in a car. You read the books, all these people written all these magazines, man, it goes out in a car. I want the biggest car angle so I can see the most, man. I want to get in there and see it all. Guess what? Which way is the sound going? Everywhere. It don't go out in a car. They wrote the book and they showed you this picture of this triangle. What was that type of thing? And I, was, I bought one of transducers because it said it had a 32 uh, degree cone. Did anybody buy one of them? Yeah. I didn't want one of the tables, man. That's just like looking down a tube or something. I want one of the big things so I can see big. Sound goes out in all directions. How many of you have stood on the deck of your boat and heard your transducer play? Well, if it goes that way, how did you hear it this way? Kind of impossible. Eh? Sound travels about 700 miles an hour in air. It travels four times faster than water. You realize that that sound going underneath the water is going almost 3,000 miles an hour? That's hollow, isn't it? It don't take very long to go over and come back. <laughs> this is an electronic motor and it's a transceiver, just like a CD radio. Breaker 1-9, how about you? What does it do? Transmitting sound out of an antenna. 
all the ports. When that unit is turned on and that transducer is plugged in, electricity every so many microseconds is going down that wire to the antenna. Now what's down at that end of that antenna is a little ceramic crystalline smut tablet. They have me say that like this. Wait. Little electric wire glued to it. There's only two sizes of it. They don't have to tell you that either. There's a one inch and a two inch. Well the one inch is only three quarters of an inch around. The two inch is an inch and seven eighths. When that electricity strikes that little wafer, it does the same thing as if I handed you a hot electric wire, what would you do? Oscillate, right? And that bangs the side of it, and that's what sends the sound out. Gentlemen, the little one inch one has a bigger angle than the two inch. It's where the wires go to it makes it either vibrate this way or this way. What's around that is a housing. How many of you think you've got to have a special transducer to put it in? Shoot through the hole, transducer. Doesn't matter. One housing goes through the water easier if you put it on the outside, and the other one is flat on the bottom, and you've got to put something flat. So it's going to stay. You put know, something round or something flat, chances are it might not stick. That little bitty one inch transducer creates a 20 degree column. Here's where they start talking about comments. That means that dead 90 degrees, when you go out from 90 degrees to where the power hits 50%, that's the angle. Now, why did I say 50%? Because it works just like a light bulb. Turn a light bulb on, light cells there. It's going in velocity too. We don't think about light being in velocity, but it is. It's a lot faster than sound. You put a little cone around it, and you don't hold it either vertically or sideways or whatever. You don't hold the middle of that light very far from something that's stopping it. And you have a little circle. You have a little guy pointing down, it's got a little circle. And when we get up, the bigger the circle. But how many of us have turned on a flashlight, walked around your backyard, and still see where you're going? Everybody. If you really want to see something, you turn where the concentrated power is. Outside of the home, this only represents 50% of the power in the sun. The rest of it is all out here. You're receiving signals from that other 50%. They're all over that screen. All over the screen. I say they're all over the screen because you assume that this is drawing something and you assume that it's moving to the left. Now we're going to talk about how this thing actually works. How it works is this. It's a ruler. It's at zero to 60. If it was in a circle, 